also have a natural sweetener in them, which is Mott's applesauce. And it's an unsweetened applesauce, which has no corn syrup, because corn syrup is not good for us. And it's very hard for our liver to break down. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we're going to take a half a cup of gluten-free all-purpose flour, which I have right here. And then I've also added three-fourths cup of brown rice flour in there. And I've also added one-fourth cup of tapioca flour. Now, we're going to go ahead and put three-fourths teaspoon of unrefined sea salt, which I have right here. You want to make sure it's unrefined. That means it has all of its vitamins and minerals in it. And then we're going to go ahead and use two teaspoons of baking powder, which is gluten-free. Put that in. We're going to use one teaspoon of xanthan gum, which I have right here. And this is a binder. This will help keep our flowers together since we're not going to be using any yeast there. Now we're going to go ahead and stir our dry ingredients up. Stir them up a little bit. There we go. That looks good. Make a little well in there. We're going to add two eggs. Now these are cage-free eggs. They have no antibiotics, no hormones, and they are all natural eggs, which I try to buy, and um, these are basically from Trader Joe's this week, but I get them wherever they're on sale. Now we're going to go ahead and put two-thirds cup of milk, which I have measured out right here. That's going in there. There we go. Two teaspoons of oil, tablespoons of olive oil. Close that up. We're going to put in one tablespoon of lemon juice, which we have right here. Put that in. Now this is all simple to do. We don't have to stress out about this. Just throw everything in and then we're going to stir it up. And then we have one third cup of applesauce. There we go. Right in there. Now we're going to go over and make sure we have everything in there except our blueberries. So in our mind we're going to go through. We have our flowers, we have our salt, we have our baking powder, xanthan gum, We've got our milk, our lemon juice, our no sugar added applesauce, and we have our olive oil. So we're going to stir that up real well. I think I'll use this spatula here. Now this will probably take a minute or two, but this is probably the longest part of the entire recipe. Just stirring up and trying not to make a mess. So let's do this real carefully. Now the blueberries that I have here, I've been thawing them out. Um, they've been thawing for a few hours, so when you use the blueberries, you always want to make sure that you let them thaw out, because otherwise they're kind of kind of weird in your in mixture. And if you don't have time to draw, thaw them out and you thought about this at the last minute, um, just go ahead and put them in the microwave for maybe a couple of minutes and let them thaw out that way if you have to. But, you know, microwaves do break down enzymes in your food, so you can abstain from microwaves, and that's always a good thing, too. All right, I think we've got this mixed up pretty well. Now we're going to put our blueberries in, and as you can see, they're real big, and they look like they're, like, ready to pop. Hmm, pretty good. Okay, so we're going to put those in. You don't want to stir this too much, because otherwise it's going to end up looking like one big glob of berry juice. So you want it to have a little bit of... Um, prettiness to it, so we'll just not stir it up too much. Okay, I know this doesn't look too good, but it's going to be really good, trust me. My son loves these things. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and use some non-spray stick spray. Non-stick. And we're using big jumbo pan today. Whew. And it's a little pan. Now, every time Joanne Fabrics has things on sale with coupons 50% off, I am there getting something half off. And a few weeks ago, that was my muffin pan that I got. So we're going to try it out today. So go ahead and put, I don't know, probably about three quarters way full of muffin mix here in your pan. And it should come out just right to about um, six muffin cups. I might have to steal a little bit from the other one if I've tallied up wrong here, but let's see what happens. No, I think we did it. Well, no, I don't think so. Let's take a little bit out of this one. Put it in that one. Now, 
one thing you have to realize when you're cooking with gluten-free flours, everything's not going to look like it does when you cook with wheat or bake with wheat. It's just not going to look that way. It's not going to look perfect, and you got to be able to realize that, so don't worry about it. See? And we're going to turn the timer on for 25 minutes at 350 degrees and put our muffins in. Here we are. Here are the ones that I've made already previously, and don't those look yummy. Hope that you enjoy your muffins.